Hi, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. You can contact me with this information. We'll continue with our SQL Accounting System training. In today's lesson, we continue about maintain stock item. So if you remember in the previous tutorial, we go to create, we have created one item called blue pen. Okay, let's search for blue pen. And here it is. So we have finished the first part. If you do want to edit one item, after select the item, just click the edit button. So we continue with the customer price. This only applicable if you have the pro versions or you, you have one item that's selling to different people with different pricing. So the first step you need to do is you need to go and create one under stock. It's called maintain stock price tag. So you can maintain different price tag, for example, dealer or you have a new one called VIP. So this is your VIP price tag. After that, our maintain customer, you need to assign the price tag for individual customer. For example, Kitty, I've added it and I'll put as dealer. Okay. After that, you need to come back to maintain stock item over here you will set for price tag for dealer for every item you no longer sell at 20 ringgit but maybe you sell at 15 ringgit this according to price tag or a group of customer what if you only uh, want to set a sales price according to one particular company in that case, you can set over here according to company instead of price tag. For example, let's set for every enterprise. Same item, but one very special price, only 12 ringgit. Meaning now for this particular item, you already have three pricing: 20 ringgit for normal customer, 15 ringgit for dealers, and 12 ringgit for this particular customer. And let's see what happened. So when you're doing a sales, let's go back to sales invoice. When I sales to a walk-in customer or cash sale customer, so when I select blue pen, so you can see that this is 20 ringgit. When I select another customer, KT, which fall under the category of dealer, so it's 15 ringgit and lastly let's say Abbey Enterprise the same item again it will be 12 ringgit so you can see that by using the price tag the system will automatically pick up what is the price to be used for a particular customer so this is how it works for supplier price same functions but normally, no one will use this because normally the price is controlled by supplier instead of you. For BOM, it's only applicable if you have assembly, meaning you buy in raw material and you will go through a production, then it will come up with a finished good. So you have BOM and to do that, very simple, you need to maintain all the raw material and then um, the finished good as well over here you will set let's say blue pen is a finished good over here you click um sorry edit you click at bom and what is the raw material to make up to become a blue pen let's say you have this item you need two unit this item you need four unit so this is the raw material to come up with one blue pen i'll talk more on this in future tutorial for when I talk about production. More description is like when you purchase a notebook, there's very long descriptions. Of course, the salesperson will not key in on the spot during your purchase. So they will preset it in more description. So you can type whatever you want and all this can be added during transactions. 
opening balance opening balance is the balance as per your system conversion date if you still remember your system conversion date is in your tools option general ledger as per your system conversion date and normally my customer will not able to give me this information so that's why in normal implementation we'll set the quantity after we do one type of stock tick okay category is an additional functions where you can actually separate your item into different category and when you view certain report you no longer want to view according to item but according to category alternative is for you to maintain um, alternative item if this item is sold out so let's say blue pen is sold out i can use this item to replace just as a reference for customer item it's mainly is when you deal with large hypermarket let's say when i sell to this item this customer they no longer want to uh, view the documents such as invoice do according to my standard blue pen they want to view according to their code maybe this one and their description okay so the print out will according to this instead of what i have maintained in the system but only applicable to this customer and a minor customization over the document let's say invoice is required same things go to supplier item that means when i send in purchase order to my supplier they do not want to see blue pen they want to see according to their item code and item description barcode is where you can key in the barcode and print the barcode uh, out for this particular item note is for you to put in the minimum quantity or maximum quantity or even picture but normally our advice my customer do not put in picture over here because imagine you have 1000 item every time when you key in one transactions for every item it will need to load 1000 picture so it will be very slow so what you can do is actually you can do attachment as in maintain customer or maintain supplier attaching the picture as a reference okay just as a reference okay so uh, that's about it this is how you maintain your stock item and if you want to maintain a service very simple just untick the stock control so it become a service which will not appear over your physical worksheet or will not appear in your stock card so this is how you maintain your item if you do have time do drop by at my facebook is facebook.com slash syntax technologies and help me to like my page and you can find all the latest information regarding gst regarding tax or sql over here or you want to watch previous tutorial video you can go to my website syntax.com.my click on the youtube and you can have all the previous tutorial so once again i'm brian from syntax technologies thank you